Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to motion track video using three different methods. In this first method, I have this footage of a city street from the sky. The first way to track is using track motion. And what I want to do is track one of these cars driving by using this tracker. So I'm going to go ahead and click on track motion. And then I'm just going to zoom in here, move my track point to cover my car, expand it to cover the car. And then I'm just going to let it track forward as long as it can. I know in this footage, it's a little bit hard because of these lines that show up, but I'm just going to track it as far as it can go. It started messing up right about there. So I'm just going to come up here, go to new, add a new null object, then back to the video. Now I'm going to edit the target to that new null object by clicking OK. And then I'm going to apply. Apply dimensions X and Z. OK. Back to the composition. Now I can just add and do whatever I want. So if I wanted to add text, I could say, hey, and then bring it up to the car. Take this little parent link, parent it to the null, play the footage back, and it follows the car. So that's the first method of motion tracking. Using a different example, we're going to go into the tracker once again, click on track camera, wait until it solves. And once that's finished, we can see on our video that we have several points that were tracked. Now I'm going to scroll around and look for a target of where I want to put my object or text. Right here is about fine. I'm going to right click, click on create solid and camera. And now this solid is going to be tracked to the surface of the ground. And now if I ever want to add text or some other object, I can do so by adding my text, turning it into a 3D layer, going to the track solid I just made, click P to pull up the position, copy the position, and paste it onto the text I just made. And now it's a little small, so I'm going to click S and scale it up a bit. I'm going to shut off that track solid, scale it to the right dimensions, and click play. And now that text is tracked into the video. If we spend a little bit more time and adding extra detail, we can get some cool results. And now for the third and final way of tracking inside of After Effects. So using the same footage, we're going to go up to Animation, go down to Track and Borse FX Mocha. It's going to pull up this effect. We're going to click on Mocha, and it's going to pull up another application. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a point in our timeline where we want to start tracking. I'm just going to put it to the beginning. Then I'm going to come up here to this little pen tool, and I'm just going to draw where I want it to track. So I want it to track on the ground. And so I'm just going to make a little box. And then, boom. Now I have the tracking area that I want it to track. And another thing is make sure coming down here where it says motion, that translation, scale, rotation, shear are all activated. Now, once we're ready, we can just come over here and click track forward. And now we just have to wait until it tracks the entire clip. But once it's done that, then we can work with that footage right inside of After Effects. And once it's done tracking, you can go ahead and exit out of Mocha, click Save, and now you have your tracking data right inside of After Effects. And now I'm just going to add a text layer and write something random, then go back to that layer that has the Mocha tracking. Then I'm going to go down, select tracking data, create track data, select layer one, click OK, and then come down here to layer export two. We're just going to select our text layer. And after that's done, we're going to let corner pin stay, click apply export. I was going to put the letters right where we tracked and it's a little small. So I'm going to click S on the text layer and just scale it up a bit. And now when I play it out, it is on the floor. So those are the basic principles and foundation of tracking. You can get as creative as you want with it and get some really cool results, whether it's with motion graphics, 3D design, or if you're just trying to do something with social media or make a cool video, tracking is one of the best tools I have found that has helped me. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing as I create and produce more content for you guys. But that's all. Bye.